Welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel. I'm now answering question number four from the June 2024 International A Level Pure Mathematics P4 exam. And this question here is all about related rates of change and it involves um, some of the stuff that we learned in P2, which is to do with um, you know, area of sectors and segments. And I remember actually some of the students who took this exam, they were a bit surprised. I think it's from P1 actually, radian measure. Yeah. They were a bit surprised of the, you know, or by the fact that this topic came up. What we should be aware of is that things from P1 and P2 are, you know, it's possible for them to appear in P4 and P3. So you should be prepared for this. So you should remember some of these formulae from before. Um, and some of these formulae are actually in the formula sheet itself. Um, actually, for for at Excel, the formulae are not in the formula sheet. I think mean, that's for Cambridge. Okay, for Cambridge, yes, the formula in the formula sheet for Excel they're not. So you have to remember the formulae for you know area of sectors and segments and so on. Okay, it's important for us to still have them in our mind and revise them because they could pull one like this on you. Now, so it says figure one shows a sketch of a segment P, P, Q, R, P. So this is the segment here. This part is a segment. It's like a, someone who's just taking the crust of the pizza. Right, of a circle with center O and radius five centimeters. So we're told that given that angle P, Q, R is, is theta radians. Okay, so that's the angle subtending the segment. And theta is increasing from 0 to pi at a constant rate of 0 0.1 radian per second. So basically, theta is increasing at a rate of radians per second. So what we can say is that the rate of change of theta with respect to time, d theta dt is equal to 0 0.1 okay, radians per second. That's what that's telling us. Mathematically, this is what that means. Okay, this is what that means mathematically. As a mathematical statement. And then it says the area of the segment PQRP, the segment, not the sector, the segment. Okay, the area of the segment PQRP is A centimeter squared. So we got to show that the A D theta is K times 1 minus cosine theta. Okay, where K is a constant to be found. All right, so how do we deal with a question like this? Well, basically, the A D theta, okay, is found, first of all, let's find what A is. The area of the uh, segment, which is this here, is like the area of the whole sector minus the area of this triangle. This is, remember, this is also the radius, which is five centimeters. So the area of the whole sector, the area of a sector, is given by a half r squared theta. And the area of this triangle, the area of this triangle here, okay, is given by a half times r times r, which is r squared, times sine of theta. Okay, because it's half a, b, sine c. I have the two sides of the angle between them, we can find the area of the triangle. Right, so now, we know that Theta, um, we know that R is equal to 5. So what we can say, the area of the sector, or the segment, is going to be these two subtracted. The area of the sector minus the area of the triangle leaves us what we want. That gives us a formula which we should know. Half R squared, theta minus sine theta. Okay, now R is equal to 5, as they told us. Okay, so we can say that the area... A, which they defined as A, is equal to a half times 5 squared times theta minus sine theta. Okay, so we can say that this area is going to be 25 over 2 times theta minus sine theta. That's A. They want us to show the AD theta. Now, the AD theta, okay, is going to be when we basically differentiate this. Okay, so you're going to have 25 over 2 times, and this is going to be 1 minus 
cosine theta. If you differentiate theta, you get 1. If you differentiate sine theta, you get cosine theta. Some people say, what about the 25 over 2? Well, that's a product of it. So I'll show you how if I expanded this and have a equals 25 over 2 theta minus 25 over 2 cosine theta. So if I was to say da d theta from this, this is basically this expanded. This will leave me with 25 over 2. The theta will disappear because we're differentiating with respect to theta. And here you have minus 25 over 2 times cosine theta. When you differentiate, it becomes, sorry, sine theta. This is just supposed to be sine theta, sorry. Sine theta, when you differentiate, it becomes cosine theta. So that should be sine theta, of course. All right? So then we're going to take 25 over 2 out of this and we're left with that. So we don't have to actually multiply this out and then differentiate. We can just differentiate what's inside the bracket and it'll be multiplied by that constant on the outside anyway. So there we have, um, basically, this means k is equal to 25 over 2. Okay, so there we have answered the question and written in this form. Okay, so that's part A of the question. Then part B says, find in centimeters squared per second the rate of increase of the area of the segment when theta equals pi over 3. So we've got to find the rate of increase of the area. The rate of increase of the area of the segment. Okay, so basically the rate of increase means with respect to time, centimeters squared per second. So we're going to find, we have to find the ADT. That's what we have to be, have to find. Now what we're given in the question, we're given we are given the fact that d, t, d theta dt is 0 0.1. Okay, that's what we're given. All right, so that's one thing that's given, that d theta dt, that's what we know. And if we multiply that by, we want to end up with d a dt. If we multiply that by d a d theta, we will, we will end up with d a dt. Okay, and we have d a d theta, we had to find that in part a. Right, so d, d, d theta dt, as we know from the what's given in the question, is 0 0.1, okay, radians per second. All right, theta is increasing, a constant rate of 0 0.1 radians per second. So d theta dt is 0 0.1, so we know that. So this is going to be 0 0.1 times d a d theta, which is 25 over 2 times 1 minus cosine Theta. And they've told us to find this when theta is equal to pi over 3. So I've got to replace this with pi over 3 and I'll get my answer. So 0 0.1, which is, let me just write that as a, as a fraction. That's going to be 1 over 10 times 25 over 2 times 1 minus cosine of pi over 3. Now the cosine of pi over 3 is a half. Because cosine of uh, that's cosine of sixty is a half. That's right. That's a half. So this is going to give us. Let's just simplify this. Five goes into ten two times. Five goes into twenty five five times. So you're left with five over four times one minus a half, which is five over four times a half, which is five over eight, and it's in centimeters squared per second. So there is the answer to this part of the question. Question part B of number four. And that is the whole of this question. So this is about related rates of change. And it's kind of related to the differentiation topic. And it's sometimes a precursor to the questions involving um, differential equations. This is a standalone question here, all about related rates of change. So that completes question number four from the June 2024 paper. Other questions from the paper can be found in this playlist over here. Other questions from the topic of differentiation of P4 can be found over here. In particular, related rates of change, you'll find a playlist here involving those questions. And you can subscribe to the channel by clicking on this link. Thank you for watching and see you soon.